You can sit at a wall or with something behind you if you want. It's fine to do without. I'm going to take the legs out and have some socks or slippers on and you'll begin drawing an infinity or figure eight by sliding around. So the feedback that I get from the ottoman is not to lean back, but to let the work happen in my hip, especially frontal hip and thigh, and then switch sides. Completely new information on the second side. And I'll add just a little bit. So this is a little towel, a hand towel, folded. Now we have a little more to negotiate, just a little. If this feels like too much, go back to your socks or slippers. And we switch sides. And of course we're breathing. Staying present with the movement, aware of your body, your hip, your thigh. Good. Just playing, don't worry. If as we move on, you're not there yet, great. Be exactly where you are and that's perfect. We're adding now a yoga blanket. So heavier, a little more awkward, a little bulkier. Could put some furniture polish on my floors here and really make it look easy. My frontal hip and thigh are working a lot. This just looks like little fun and games, but I'm getting a lot of work. So active stretching is so amazing and sometimes also some active work for these beautiful joints. Okay. Lastly, we'll take a yoga block and we're going to hop up over the yoga block. Okay, a few times on each side and then we'll add something fun. Create a little obstacle course going up and whoo, so good. I'm getting a cramp in my quad. Okay, let's go again. Okay, I have to resituate myself and let's try the other side. Oh, the left side has something different to offer. Not so much a cramp, but not as easy to get it up and over the pillow. So you can use whatever props you have around the house, a book, frying pan, all good. Enjoy.